Welcome back to Simple Pure Whole Wellness. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the estrobolome, and you'll learn how the gut impacts estrogen levels, metabolism, and more, and how you can bring your hormones into greater balance using lifestyle medicine. The microbiome has been receiving increasing attention in recent years, and there's a great reason. This collection of microbes on and within the body has wide-reaching impacts on your health, influencing everything from the absorption of nutrients to mood and metabolism and immunity. Emerging research is shedding light on specific microbes within your gut microbiome, which play a central role in the regulation of hormones, such as estrogen, within a woman's body. This so-called estrobolome influences the metabolism of various forms of estrogen and therefore the risk of developing estrogen-related diseases such as endometriosis, breast cancer, and prostate cancer. Estrogen plays many vital roles within the human body, including influencing the regulation of body fat, female reproductive function, cardiovascular health, bone turnover, memory function, and cell replication. Estrogen is not just a female hormone and also plays important roles in aspects of men's health, such as the maturation of sperm and maintenance of libido. A woman's body produces three main types of estrogen. The different forms of estrogen have different potencies and influence different tissues and functions within the body. Estrone, or E1, is made mainly in the ovaries before menopause and can be converted in estradiol in the body and vice versa. Although total estrogens decline overall with menopause, estrone becomes the predominant circulating estrogen postmenopausally. Overall, it has less potent impacts relative to estradiol. Estradiol, or E2, is the major form of estrogen which is produced in the ovaries in premenopausal women. It's also produced by the adrenals and placenta. It is the most potent form of estrogen during the reproductive years in terms of absolute serum levels as well as estrogenic activity. Estradiol plays a key role in the development of female secondary sexual characteristics such as breasts and a feminine pattern of fat distribution. It is also important for maintaining female reproductive tissues, supporting bone growth, influencing heart health, and helping memory. This form of estrogen is also thought to play a role in diseases such as endometriosis, fibroids, and cancers of the uterus, ovaries, and breasts. The third type of estrogen, E3 or estriol, is the least potent form. It's predominant during pregnancy since it's manufactured in high quantities by the placenta. These different forms of estrogen interact and influence one another within the body. So the overall balance of the major forms and their metabolites plays a key role in modulating disease risk. The ratios of hormones and their appropriate metabolism and excretion impact your risk of inflammatory, autoimmune, and malignant diseases. Microbes in the estrobolome within the gut produce beta-glucuronidase. This enzyme alters the levels of different estrogens into their active forms which can bind to the estrogen receptors and influence estrogen-dependent physiological processes. In general, the more beta-glucuronidase that microbes in your gut produce, the less estrogen is excreted out of the body so that more remains to be recirculated, bind to receptors, and exert their influence on various physiological processes. When the gut microbes become out of balance in a state known as dysbiosis, beta-glucuronidase activity may be altered. This dysbiosis can lead to either a deficiency or an excess of free estrogen and imbalances between the various forms of estrogen and other hormones, which may promote the development of estrogen-related pathology and chronic diseases. The composition of your estrobolome is influenced by many factors, including genetics, diet, alcohol intake, environmental exposures, and medications, especially antibiotics and hormonal contraceptives. Therefore, you can support a healthy estrobolome and balance your estrogens through a combination of detoxification, diet, and supplementation to encourage the body to restore this delicate balance. Of course, it's always important to work in conjunction with a knowledgeable provider to individualize an approach that considers your unique body, genetics, and needs. 
Diet strongly influences the composition of the estrobolome. There are several dietary factors which have a positive impact on the gut. Fermented foods, probiotics, prebiotic foods, plant-based foods which are high in dietary fiber, and cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and kale are all helpful in regulating beneficial gut bacteria, supplying fiber to keep the gut healthy, and supporting healthy detoxification of hormones including Many man-made compounds, known as xenoestrogens, can mimic natural estrogens within the body as well as alter the composition of the microbiome. There are several steps you can take to reduce your exposure to xenoestrogens in everyday life. Minimize your use of plastics such as water bottles and food containers, especially when heated. Be mindful of what you put on and in your body when it comes to personal care products. Use natural biodegradable laundry and household cleaning products and choose unbleached, chlorine-free products like coffee filters, tea bags, sanitary project, and toilet paper. Also, opt for organic food whenever. Exercise is another great way to support detoxification and reduce stress to keep your hormones balanced. Physical activity helps to balance circulating levels of estrogen in both the short and long term. Studies suggest that maintaining an active lifestyle throughout life, beginning during adolescence, may reduce the risk for breast cancer. In addition, regular exercise at moderate intensity can lower circulating levels of estrogens and increase levels of a protein called sex hormone binding globulin, which helps to bind up free estrogen in the serum to regulate circulating levels of free and biologically active available estrogens that act on the tissues. When it comes to estrogen and exercise, more isn't always better though, so be mindful of what works for your body and don't overdo it. Lifestyle, nutrition, physical activity, and stress management are all linked to the balance of your hormones. I hope that these lifestyle and dietary habits can help you balance your estrobolome and keep your hormones healthy. I'll provide a link in the information box below to the complete post with more details of how you can balance your estabolome using lifestyle medicine. As always, I'm so grateful you took the time to watch this simple pure whole wellness video. If you've enjoyed it, I'd love if you'd give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more simple pure whole wellness.